So this year's competition was again in Michigan. In previous years, it's been in Lincoln, Nebraska, or California, or Nevada. But this year, it was in Michigan. So that's a 17-hour drive, so that's something we obviously have to prepare for. We tried our best to pack on the day of, or like the day before, and really just a little bit on the day of. But we were still working on the car the day before. Granted, at this point, we've you know, accomplished history in, in the fact that we were able to test the car a week before competition. However, we had to reassemble it because we had to paint the chassis. So this delayed some of our packing up until about 10 p.m. on the day of. We were supposed to leave around 5.30, but we were trying to reassemble the car, figure out some of the stuff that wasn't working. There was, I think, an exhaust leak. Don't crush the gaskets when you tighten down the the manifold. Don't over torque it or you'll crush the gaskets and then there'll be an exhaust leak. But yeah, we ended up leaving at 10 p.m. that night and then we drove and kept driving and driving. We ended up in Michigan the next day around 6 p.m. At that point, we actually worked on the car in the hotel parking lot. That's something that we can usually do if we do uh, take a hotel in Adrian. I know that some of the other teams that stayed in Jackson, Mich Jackson, Michigan had some trouble working on the car. They had a curfew, but we were running a generator and up until like 10.30. We were trying to fix, again, fix the exhaust leak. So that was like the first day we were there. And then the second day we were there, that was really when competition started. We got, we got up early at like 6.30 and drove over to the Michigan International Speedway. But that day was supposed to be like the first day of tech inspect. However, because we didn't submit SES too early, I guess, our tech inspect number was 105. So what that means is, is there's a line of uh, teams that get to go to tech inspect first, and we were number 105. So for future members, make sure you submit your SES on time. Whenever they do reject it, make sure that you also sub resubmit it as quickly as possible, because they also do factor that time in. But granted, we were expecting that we weren't going to tech inspect that day, but fortunately we were able to towards the end of the day. We almost passed the first time. They got mad at us for, what was it, the headrest? That's the foam piece where your head sits, obviously. Um, apparently it was too short, like a sixteenth of an inch or something like that. And the restrictor, it's an oval shape and one of them, or one of the sides was a little bit bigger than 20 millimeters. But they weren't letting us pass. The next day, we also again went to tech inspect but it was a little bit hectic and this is the situation where you don't want to be in because you want to like the the second day there they're going to have a bunch of static events such as your cost event and the design event you kind of want to spend your time preparing yourself for that and putting yourself in the in the right headspace but we had to spend the rest of the morning passing tech inspect this time the judges were a little harsher but since we had prepared our car earlier and we had made sure that we had safety wired everything and just taking care of all the little things we were able to pass tech but it was a little bit stressful for members because for example, I was working on the cost event, I wasn't able to go to the tech inspect, and then the, once the design event came, that was everybody, and it was super, super hectic. But that day went fine, we did real well in design, we did okay in cost, and we were able to get through it. On the third day, that's the fun day, I think they call it dynamic day, that's when you start doing acceleration, uh, autocross, and brakes, and skid pad, you can't forget skid pad. At that time, um, we hadn't passed noise and brakes yet, so we passed noise and brakes early on that day. We passed noise decently quick, and then we passed brakes the first time. And once that happened, it's go, go, go. We try to get autocross done, we try to get acceleration done, we try to get skid pad. So the strategy was to hit, excel, or, sorry, hit a skid pad and autocross first. We hit autocross first, got a couple times in there, and because skid pad was right next to autocross, we hit skid pad next, got some times down. At that point, it started raining a little bit, so we tried to rush it down to acceleration, get a time there. At that point, uh, we had time to optimize, which was also, also a first. We've never finished the dynamic events that quickly in DFR history. We went back to the paddock, tuned in our launch control. Did it wasn't really fruitful. I think we needed some more time with it, but we were able to go back to acceleration, get some uh, use launch control, and then go back to autocross and skid pad, get some new drivers in, get some better times. And that was great. And then after that, back to the hotel early. Did a little senior night, did a little cap capping ceremony. We got them special hats, the names on the back, and talked a little bit about each and every one of them. Super neat. And then the next day, the next day was super fun because it's kind of like the culmination of all of the work that you've done in the whole year. It's the endurance event. So you have to run your car for 30 minutes. It's an it's a, if, if you pass it, you, it's really a, a symbol of how much work that's gone into the car and how reliable your car is. Unfortunately for us, we were able to get to practice, which is also a first. We had enough time to practice for endurance. 
However, I think the, before we finished the first lap, one of our tripod bearings broke. So unfortunately, we were not able to finish endurance. Super stressful, super sad. It was really hard to see some of the seniors and some of the, the people that worked on the car. Just kind of disappointed and upset. But I really loved how everybody at the end, despite you know not being able to finish endurance, really looked back at the year and see how much success and how much growth that we've gone through and how much promise there is for the next year.